Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we discovered that we need some Pegasus boots but the guy who makes them needs to wake up to finish them and so we are now on a quest to find an item that will wake him up. Man. Anyway, uh, off screen I did a little, oh, that was really lucky. <laughs> I did a little bit of farming for kinstone pieces, but that uh, little um, picolite thing that I had before wore off pretty quickly, so didn't get too many. But um, let's see what is up in here. So because we have our new cool new ability, we can create a little uh, doppelganger here and see what's in here. Babouche. 50 rupees. And let's just ignore that little ladder that's up there for now. That uh, gets us up there, but there's not really much we can do there. That's weird that that tree is sparkling. Huh, what could that mean? Nothing we can do about that. But um, anyway, let's continue on. Maybe I can get lucky and get another kinstone piece. No? Okay. Never mind. Oh, I want to read the sign, not destroy it. Whatever. We are at Lake Hylia. Interesting. Let's uh, check it out. Now, uh, this is a lake, but um, we can't really swim quite yet. And we have this cool little house over here. Oh, hey, puppy! Hey, puppy! Hi there! And it's something interesting you can do. If you ever see a pot like this, use your cane of Pachi. And it flips over so you can transform. And another cool thing, you can talk to animals while you're a Minish. Hmm. Stockwell, he's the uh, owner of the item shop. Oh, poor puppy. Well, we could fuse kinstones with the puppy. Yeah, if you're a Minish, you can actually fuse kinstones with the animals and with other Minish. Alright. Let's see what happens. His name is Borkin. <laughs> it's a cool dog named Borkin. Hmm, where is this at? Oh, that's actually Lake Hylia. I know where that is, but uh, we won't be able to get over there for quite some time. So, uh, yeah, can't really worry about that for now. Anyway, thanks, Borkin. Let us continue. Nothing we can do here. Too bad. Get us a seashell. Alright. And... Huh. Can't head down there. What if we were to head... Here. Aha. Let's push this. And now we have a shortcut over here. Awesome. And let's hop on up here. Sorry if I waste a lot of time chopping down grass, but uh, it's good to do that wherever you go. Because I'm getting some pieces. Once again, very lucky that that showed up when it did. Anyway, let's shrink down here because uh, otherwise this little bridge will be too big for us. Or too small, should I say, I should say. And we can fall down this hole! What do we find? A red kinstone piece. Hooray. Now let's go back across and look at that piece of heart down there. I really want that. Alright. Well, we have this little whirlwind and we can, of course, jump into it. And float down here to this previously unreachable area. Hooray. Anything good here? Ah, no. Those things, they don't hurt you, but they're annoying because they, like, make you not, not be able to use your sword. They're sort of like the uh, gels in earlier Zelda games. Anyway. Let's use this. And we can head across the water. This Octorok won't kill us. Alright. And we could head to another part of Lake Hylia. 
Ah, I keep destroying signs when I want to read them. Oh well. Yes, like I said, not much we could do there. Actually, is there anything? Yeah, let's push this rock over. Yeah, there's a. Uh, not much we can do there for now, don't worry. So I always have to think, because I want to make sure I get the collectibles fairly soon. But anyway, ooh, this is a chest that appeared. Let me check. Or maybe it's just a random chest, who knows. But, um. I'm not sure I want to open it yet. Should I? Because, um. Wait, let me check again, sorry. I'll take a chance. Okay. It's a kinstone piece. The thing is, like I said, I only have a limit of 300 rupees. And so, if I open a chest, and um, I get... I already have 3 rupees, and it gives me more rupees, those rupees will pretty much just go to waste. So, I, that's why I don't want to open those chests yet, until I need more rupees. And, um... I'll soon have a system for collecting rupees and spending them so that we can uh, do as much stuff as possible. Anyway, heart piece. Alright. Yeah, anyway, we are looking for Syrup the Witch. What does this say? Syrup the Witch's hut is up here, yay! So, ah, uh, here she is. But let's cut down her yard, of course. Do as much vandalism as possible. Hello. Blue potion. What does it do? Full of energy. I believe that we fill some hearts, but, um, I don't need any of that right now. But what we do want is this mushroom. Time article. Yeah, we can only buy it once because it's only for this one thing. One way for you, wide awake. That's convenient. And we have enough rupees. Yay. <laughs> it's an interesting description. Uh, are you hitting on me? Yes, yes, yes. We know. Alright, so now... Let's, uh, head back. And now I want to head west. So we have that there. And, uh... Let's do some more floating. I believe. Oh, this one's kind of hard to get to. Hopefully, I can. Ah, oh, darn it. Let's try that again. What's going on over there, anyway? Yeah, I remember having a hard time making this one before, but it is possible. You just have to. Because you kind of uh, automatically start floating down before you float to the side. Come on, Link. Dang it. Oh, there we go. And what do we have down here? We have a shortcut. And we have a, a Goron beating at that rock. Thing just won't break. Well, I will take care of that in a little bit, but uh, oh, what's this? Yeah, let's use Kinstones. So he's. This is a blue Kinstone he's using, so blue Kinstones are a bit more interesting in what they do. My last playthrough, I actually didn't do this until, like, it way, way near the end when it was too late. Because when you do that, and this guy shows up. And, uh, he's pretty awesome, you'll see in a bit. He sells kinstones. And by the time I had done this, I was pretty much done with the game and had fused all the kinstones. So I was kind of pissed that I missed out on this because, um, I had to go farm a lot for green kinstones. 
But uh, we need to find some way to help this guy through that hole. Huh. Anyway. So... Let's see, where am I headed now? Yeah, down here. Got a little farmers over there. Those are our Eenie and Meenie, I believe. Oh, can I fuse concerns with them right now? Let me check. And we keep passing by these weird little like cave structures, but they're blocked. Oh, just chopping me. That that would be painful. Like you might want to not stand there. Oh well, we can. Oh really? Yeah, we can't dig yet. I sure do. Perfect. So what will this one do? Oh, it's that Goron. Huh. Like I said, blue stone pieces do some interesting things. Mostly they affect people. Who's he talking to? I don't know. Alright, but, um... That's still not done yet. That thing is a whole link of uh, kinstone fusions that uh, we have yet to be able to do. Because he has a lot more to dig. Anyway. Rock, 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 roll. <laughs> I like this guy. Alright, we need kinstone piece, so he's just going to give us a normal treasure. Oh, and this is up uh, Mount Cornell. I know where this place is. It's a chest. So, uh, we'll have to head back up there eventually anyway, so I'll pick it up on the way. Alright, so... Let's do some more exploring. Hop up here, and let's see what's over on this side. Ooh, a nice little cave that's hidden off. Hmm. What's, what's going on? Oh, it's another fairy. Another humongous fairy. This thing is huge. D you need my rupees? Okay. Yeah. I can find some more. Take them. Oh, thank goodness I didn't want to give them away. Some of your power. A big wallet. I believe... How much does... Can I carry now? I can carry up to 500 rupees. So that'll help, but that's still not the biggest wallet we can get. Alright. So that's all we can do there. Alright. Yeah, there's so much to be found in these places, and uh, once you get more items, more places become accessible. Anyway, I think I want to head back to Lon Lon Ranch. And let's kill this guy before he spawns more. Nope. Nope. And we have this little thing we can pop up on. So, let's see what's over here. Red Vale Falls, we haven't been here yet. And, uh... Huh, we have this little secluded area down here, but there's nothing here. For now. But what we have here? Piece of Heart, number 11. I should have started numbering these at the first one, but oh well. Alright, so... That's enough questioning for now. Let's uh, go wake that guy up. Ow. Jerks. And over here... 
Let's see. Oh, I want to go south. This is Hyrule Town. Hooray. Oh, hey, it's, uh... Marin. Mel I'm always... G I keep getting views this with, um... The names with, uh, Link to the Past. Ooh, Lon Lon Milk. That stuff is pretty good. It heals a lot of hearts, and you actually uh, can drink it twice. So you drink half of it the first time, and the second half the second time, but, uh... I don't want to get that quite yet. We don't have quite enough hearts to really justify getting something like that. Fairies are still the best way to go. And here's that Goron. Seems pretty sleepy. So I'll usually want to buy green Kinstone pieces, because blue and red we can almost always find in chests and stuff. I don't want to buy that yet. Not. I'm not in need of another kinstone yet. But, uh, perhaps another time. Let's see, can I fuse with either of you yet? Ooh, I can fuse with this guy. So let's do so. Ooh, and this is Diminished Woods right here. Uh, dude, that opens up a crack, so we can go up down there when we're miniature sized and uh, see what's down there. Hope so, buddy. Let's see, can I fuse with you? No. You? No. We have this place right here. Door shut. Can't open it from this side. Hmm. And what is this place? And they're not open yet. Yeah, still so many things are not even available yet. But anyways, we now have this cool item, so let's use it. And he wakes up. <laughs> yes, buddy, we needed to wake you up and we had to go all the way to the freaking Minish Woods to do it. Yes, you do. Haha, <laughs> if only you knew. Yes, please. Oh, -ho, yes. Yeah, that's, that's why we needed you. That, that, that was it? You just had to knock a hammer into them a couple times and wipe them clean. Anyway, we got the Pegasus Boots, a staple in the Zelda series. A special order. Well, she she's kind of uh, not in any position to wear good shoes right now, but... Uh, Carry on. Anyway, I'll show you what the Pegasus boots do before we leave off on this. Wait, can I fuse with you? No, I cannot. You equip them, you press them, and you run. Awesome. And don't worry, you don't get hurt when you run into stuff, but I might be using this a lot to get to places faster. So anyway, that should be it for now. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we'll probably do a bit more questing before we actually go into the swamp to look for that third element. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.